I say, if you have a child, or if you know a child, and the child has no blocks, you should get them some blocks. <laughs> And let them not be those blocks that tell you what to imagine. Those blocks with predefined commercial properties within. Let them be blocks that can be anything. In fact, don't stop with blocks. Get some girders, get some polygon faces, get some wheels, get some motors, let them make moving robots, let them <laughs> create their own mechanical playmates, moving blocks, you might say. The infinite creativity childhood. We can recapture it within our dreams, our subconscious psyche. It remains waiting for us to reconnect to it or rebuild it or at least rebuild a bridge. As the Egyptian pharaohs knew, every stone must have its quarry. When building works of artistic amazement, the quarry can be dreams. Where else can you find stones of amazing shape, amazing beauty, colors that you never knew existed? your nightly foray into your dream quarry. Let it be fruitful. Let it be wonderful. Let it restore you. Never give up your right to dream as a human being. Blocks, by definition, force one to think from the bottom up. Stacking from the lower to the higher. Without levitation, it all begins with blocks. And as I've said before, it's never too late to get yourself some blocks, too. <laughs> Why be stingy? Compared with many toys of today, these blocks are so affordable. 